What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. So yesterday I was I saw Captain Marvel and I have some thoughts about it, so that's why I'm gonna make a review on it. So here's my review on Captain Marvel. So Brie Larson to me was a great Captain Marvel. I know she's been getting some hate recently, but to be honest, her performance was pretty good. I think she was a pretty good choice for Captain Marvel. I don't know who else could have played her. Captain Marvel's suit was... Wow, it was fantastic. Especially those scenes where she was, like, you know, underwater. Or she was flying through space and she had that mohawk thing. That was really cool. But, yeah, her suit was really cool. And the suit I'm talking about right now is the, you know, the the red, blue, and uh, gold one. Her turquoise suit, I think she should have had... She had the turquoise suit for way too long. I did not like that suit. I think the other one with the red and the blue and stuff was much better. So I think they should have gone with that for the majority of the movie instead of having that just be the final suit for the third act. And Brie Larson and, you know, Samuel L. Jackson also played really well off each other. Like, they were great. They were really good. They played so good together. And I loved, like, the... When... Um, uh, you know, Carol Danvers and Nick Fury first met each other. It was kind of like this buddy cop thing, and I thought that was that was probably my my favorite part of the movie. But then once they met Maria Rambeau and stuff, that it started becoming like a this uh sister movie between you know Carol Danvers and Maria Rambeau, which I think they should have the buddy cop thing was a lot funnier and worked a lot better for the movie, so they should have gone with that instead, in my opinion. And wow, the way they de-aged Nick Fury is was incredible. It was so cool. I love how they de-aged him, how they made him look younger. It looks so realistic. You can barely even tell that it is, you know, CGI. Yeah, it worked really, really good. I think the scrolls in the movie looked okay, like they weren't the, the best, um, they didn't look that good because they, you know, they, um, they didn't, they, the makeup wasn't, like, amazing, it could have been better, and, um, I think making it that the scrolls are not the villains in this movie was stupid, I think the scrolls should have been the villains, sure they want to make the Kree the villains, but both of them could have been villains, like both the scroll, the scrolls and the Kree, and yeah, hopefully, you know, Avengers 5 will be, um, the scrolls, and hopefully we also get a little tease of the scrolls in Endgame with Captain Marvel, maybe telling the others about the scrolls, or maybe it's revealed that one of the Avengers is a scroll. Hopefully, if one of the Avengers is going to be a scroll, I hope it's Ant-Man, because I think it would be cool if the Ant-Man that showed up there in the trailer was actually a scroll, and the real Ant-Man is still in the Quantum Realm, and then he would, you know, escape the Quantum Realm in the third Ant-Man. I thought that is probably the best theory I've heard. I think that would be really cool if that was actually true. But the scrolls in this movie, uh, Talos, he was kind of cool. I liked his voice, and his actor did a good job. And the makeup, of, as I said, could have been better. But I think Talos was a pretty cool kind of lead villain until we found out that the Kree were actually the villain. And the whole storyline with his family, I, I don't know. I The movie could have done without it. But I think Talos could have, been, had, could have had the potential to be a really badass villain. But yeah, they made him a, not a villain, so... That was kind of disappointing. The relationship between Carol and Maria Rambeau, I think that was actually, I think it it could have been better. They could have, you know, shown more because it was kind of like we saw one scene with the two and then suddenly Carol shows up at, you know, um, Maria's house and then it's just this huge storyline about um, them her not remembering Maria and stuff. We got one scene where we get to see the two interact before this happened. I think we should have definitely gotten more backstory for Carol, where we saw more of her being a pilot. Um, 
but Maria Rambo, sure, the actor did a pretty good job. Um, I don't really, I didn't really, I don't really have an opinion on Maria Rambo. She was just kind of there. Um, I thought she was an, a nice addition to the movie and kind of cool to have her, to have someone like t for Carol to interact to, to interact with. And hopefully, if we get a, a second Captain Marvel, that is set in um. Hopefully, if we get a second Captain Marvel, it will actually be set in the early 2000s or something like that. So we can actually get to see, you know, Nick Fury again. We can get to see Agent Coulson, some more S.H.I.E.L.D. We can get to see Maria Rambeau again. We can get to see the cat again, and maybe the cat can die. And we can see maybe Maria can die or something. And then maybe in Avengers Endgame, we can see that Maria's kid who's grown up. That would be so cool to see something like that. But the cat, like, what is this thing? It had this weird power where it could, like, eat people or something. Like, it would turn into this monster. Like, the cat, I think its name was Goose. Yeah, Goose. The cat Goose, it was... I love the cat. I know Captain Marvel has a cat in the comics, but in this movie they made the cat have more of a relationship with Nick Fury. And something that was really disappointing was that the cat was actually... You know, the one that did the thing to Nick Fury's eye. The cat scratched Fury's eye, and that was really disappointing. It would, you know, in Winter Soldier, he said that he uh, got that thing because, or his eye, um, this, that happened to his eye because he trusted someone he shouldn't have trusted. And I think that would be really cool to see Nick Fury do that in this movie. Nick Fury didn't really... Like, once every once Carol met Maria Rainbow, Fury was kind of in the background and didn't do much. I think it would be cool if Fury was more of a hero in this movie. He didn't really do much um, heroic stuff. He wasn't really that badass. He was kind of just this comic relief, which... Eh, I don't know if that role really fits him. I think he should have definitely been the, this badass guy that he is. And he should have gotten the eye out by, you know, trusting someone that... He shouldn't have trusted, like he said in Winter Soldier. Now it's time to talk about the actual main villains of the movie, which are the Kree. The Kree were uh, pretty good. I thought they were okay villains. I thought the, um, like the main one who you know taught Carol to do all that stuff. I think he was, he wasn't the best villain. Like, I think we're kind of, um, after you know since Ant Man and the Wasp, and then this. The MCU has kind of been going back to uh, okay villains. Like, we had a lot of good villains recently with Homecoming, with Infinity War, all that. And now we're kind of going back to the villains that are just okay, which I think this villain was just okay. I think he could have um, been better. He was not that interesting to me, but yeah. The Kree are the main villains, which I think it should have been the Skrulls. But yeah, the Kree are the main villains, so... Um, now it's time to talk about Ronan. Now, Ronan was the most disappointing character in this movie. He was, like, in one scene where he went to Earth, fired some missiles, Captain Marvel destroyed the missiles, and then Ronan fled. That was so disappointing. I thought he would have a much bigger role in the movie, and I was sorely disappointed. I was sorely mistaken, and he was terrible in this movie. I did not like him. Fuck Ronan in this movie. He sucked. All right, now it's time to talk about the post credit scenes. This is probably some of the best post credit scenes that the MCU has ever had. The first one is where we see basically the Avengers are analyzing that thing that Nick Fury called um, Captain Marvel with in the end of Infinity War. And then suddenly, Captain Marvel appears behind them and is like, where is Fury? That was so... I was like... Like, when... When the movie ended and the... Alright, I got a kind of cool, a weird story to tell after this, but... Uh, yeah, I'll tell you after this. So, yeah, uh, I was so shocked when that happened. It was, like, insane, and I can't wait for Endgame. It's gonna be epic. Now, the second one was kind of disappointing, but still pretty good, and that was when, you know, Goose was jumping up on uh, Fury's desk, and he was like... Bleh. And he... The, Tesseract came out. Also, the Tesseract in this movie was pretty surprising. I did not expect to see it, but he was, like, barfing the Tesseract up. That was pretty funny. 
Um, it was like only me and then two others that actually watched that. Everyone else went out of the theater by that point. So here's the weird story. So after like the movie, when the credits started rolling, everyone was like sitting in there, like everyone that was in the cinema, no one walked out. Everyone was like waiting for the, you know, the credit scene after the credits. So then this man came in and he was, he was, he got mad at us. He got so mad because he wanted to, you know, um, uh, you know, clean uh, the cinema. And, um, we told him that, oh no, there's more, there's more. And he, he kept just saying, I'm pretty sure that when the lights turn off, that means the movie's done. We kept trying to tell him that, oh, there's some credit scenes after that. And, wow. So when that, uh, the one with Captain Marvel in it, that, the first post credit scene, most of the guys, most of the, the ones in there went out. And there was only, like, me and then two others in there to watch the final one. And then this man, he was just getting so mad at us trying to tell us to go out because he was trying to clean it we were just sitting there waiting for that scene and then when the scene finally came we just went out and that guy started cleaning he got pretty mad at us because he he's obviously never must watched a marvel movie um but that's my review for captain marvel let me know your thoughts on captain marvel in the comics i thought comics ugh, comments i thought this movie was um if I would were to give it a score, I'd say probably a 7 out of 10. I thought it was pretty good, but there were some stuff in it that, yeah, was not that good. So, that was my review for Captain Marvel. Let me know your reviews, your thoughts in the comments. I cannot speak today. I should probably just end the video now before I say something else weird. Um, I'll see you later. Bye.